Hi, and welcome to episode 40 of the Guy Who Sews podcast. My name is Sean, and this is my weekly podcast where I share my quilting adventures. I would like to welcome both new and returning viewers to the podcast, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. But if you are new, I would love it if you take just a few moments to introduce yourself in the comments so we all know we have a new friend. Where possible, I will include links to patterns, products, and channels. But if you need additional help, please let me know. So let's go ahead and get started with our um, works in progress. This week was pretty busy at work. I was able to catch up on a lot of stuff, so I didn't take off the um, vacation time that I was originally planning to, but that's okay. Um, but I did get some sewing done. Um, the works in progress I have is the sweet treat swap blocks that I've been doing as part of a swap um, with Alicia and the rest of the guy, the guys and girls on Quilts on Tour. And this is the one I made on the live yesterday morning, and it looks like an orange droopsicle, hopefully. And I think it turned out really, really nicely. And then after the live, I went ahead and made a couple more because they were supposed to go out a week ago. So I'm like super late. And this one I tried to make chocolate slash caramel. And then this one is just a fun blue one. And then if you missed them, um, I've been making them over the last couple of weeks. I made a yellow one a couple of weeks ago. And also a pink one. And a couple of purple ones. And so these will be sent out... Um, Pretty much by random, I'm just going to put one in each envelope to the 11 ladies that's in the group. Um, I've got two more to make, so we'll hopefully get those out in the mail and only be like eight or nine days late. So but before we go on to our weekend review, which is normally our next segment, I did want to give you an update on the state fair quilts. I was meant to go to the fair yesterday, but because my wife Amanda was sick, she had the flu and it's been taking her a while to recover. We're actually going to go today. So the results, um, I'm planning on sending out a update video Hopefully within a couple of hours it is actually airing. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm very excited to let you know how that all panned out. But now let's move on to our week in review. And for anyone that is new, this is just a series of clips that I put together during the week. Mostly of me sewing some of the dogs um, who are very popular on the channel. And sometimes some other stuff as well. So I hope you enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed the week in review. Last week I asked you guys about um, fall traditions and if you guys made seasonal projects. And I loved hearing all the answers you had. Some people do seasonal stuff. A lot of people enjoy apple cider and pumpkin spice lattes and that sort of thing there. And it was always good to hear from, from you the answers to those questions. So this week's question, um, even though summer's coming to a close, I thought I'd tie in this week's question to the um, blocks that I just showed you. I, I would love to know what's your favorite ice cream or gelato or sherbet or fro frozen yogurt flavor is. It's always good to hear what different people like, so let me know in the comments. So in case you missed it, I put out a couple of videos this week. Firstly, on Tuesday morning, I put out Clue 7 of the So, so Sweet Puzzle Mystery Quilt by Cotton Cut. It is a time lapse of me putting that clue together. Basically, it takes me about 45 minutes. And I condense it down to about four minutes. So if you haven't checked it out, please do so. It's a, it's a nice little video. The other one was my live that I had yesterday morning, because I didn't go to the fair. 
and I put together the orange dreamsicle block that I showed you a little earlier and that was also a lot of fun so if you missed that definitely check that video out as well so upcoming videos we should have quite a bit this week later today I'd like to get out a short update on how the quilts and Amanda's knitting did in the um, in the fair competitions and then in the next couple of days a longer video showing a lot of the other quilts in the show and some of the fair itself so that way you can compare it to your own state fair or if you've never seen one before this Saturday morning at 8am Eastern I plan on having a break with the guy who sews live as normal and I should have my very special guest Stephanie from Memoirs of a Long Arm Quilt. So we've been trying to get together for a while to do this and it looks like this Saturday should finally work out for us. And then next Sunday morning at 8am I'm going to have my premiere, the one we were originally meant to have today with Martha's Creative Life. We've pushed back a week because um, of my trip to the State Fair this week. So I hope you all enjoy those videos that are coming up. So now it is time for my goals, and I call them goals because I sometimes don't get to them, or all of them, and that's why I call them goals rather than deadlines, because deadlines are something you really, really should meet, whereas a goal is something that I feel that you're trying to achieve. So, um, goals for last week didn't do very well on them, but that's okay, um, for that reason. So this week, I'm going to set myself quite a few goals again, just so I have plenty to do. The first one is I'd like to finish the last two blocks for this sweet treats, swap blocks, they really do need to get out. I'd like to get clue 8 of the So Sweet Puzzle Mystery Quilt by Cotton Cuts done, so that way I'm caught up once again. I'd like to get the um, Koala Quilt basted. I'm trying to get it quilted this week, I think it's just a little too much, but if we can get, at least get it basted, that would be awesome. Um, I'd like to get another block done on the Mythical Dachshunds, if at all possible. And then finally, I'd like to cut the fabric, or at least get started on the fabric for the Sombra quilt as well, because that one's been sitting on the to-do um, to list for quite some time, and we really should get that done soon. A couple of my friends who are content creators here on YouTube are doing um, some sew-alongs, which I thought you might be interested in. The first one I have mentioned, I believe, a few weeks ago was my friend Dawn at My Quilt Projects, and she is doing a wonderful churn dash um, sew-along. And it looks like a lot of fun. I would like to participate. I don't know that I'm going to have the time, but I could always jump in later on. But it looks like a lot of fun. So definitely check it out. I'll put her link in the description. And then also Fallon at So Be It Quilt. She was on with me a few weeks ago on one of my lives. She's also doing a solo along as well. So definitely head over to her channel and check out the solo along to see if that's something you're interested in doing as well. I do mention this a lot, and I truly believe it and mean it when I say I like to connect with you guys through the comments and Discord groups and emails and so forth. But I would like to um, potentially start like a monthly sew along or just get together, sit and chat type thing. So here's what I was thinking of doing. Um, I have a Zoom account which I can get up to 100 people on. So maybe let's get together once a month, maybe after one of my lives on Saturday mornings. Um, it will not be broadcast, it will not be publicly shared with anybody else, it'll just be a fun time for me and anybody else that wants to, um, you know, get on and talk and chat and that sort of thing there. We can always do breakout rooms or that sort of thing there, or just all have a good time together. So definitely let me know in the comments or send me a message and let me know if you're interested. So mail call this week, I did get one fun piece of mail and it was another of the blocks from the Sweet Treats swap that I've been doing that I was showing you some of the blocks that I made earlier. And this one is from Nadine Paul, and if Nadine, you are watching this podcast, I'd love it if you just said hi in the comments, so that way I know you're watching, but you might not be a watcher of the channel, I don't know. But this is the one that she sent, and I love the fabric she used, it's all purples, and some of it's got some glitter in it, so this was a wonderful block, thank you so much for sending this to me, Nadine. And the blocks I've received so far have been out of this world, I mean, it's going to turn into a beautiful quilt when it's all done, so I'm looking forward to getting the last few, I think everyone's pretty much sent them out. There might be one or two stragglers like myself, um, but I'll show you that all um, when it all comes in. So completed objects, I do have one completed object to show, and if you've already seen the video on Tuesday um, for the Clue 7, you've probably already seen it, but it's always fun to see it again. So this is one of the blocks that I made for Clue 7, and I just love how bright and colorful this is. And then this is the other one. There's two of each of these. So I believe this will be like part of a border um, but I'm really not sure. We'll find out in November. We've only got three more clues to go. The one that's already here at home, and then there'll be two more sent out in October and November, and then we'll be all done with that one. So um, I'm super excited to see how it all turns out when it comes to the end. I always love hearing from you guys, so please leave a comment if you enjoyed the video, and also hit the like button and share with a friend, because it does help grow my little channel. 
and I'm excited to have each view, each like, each subscriber means the absolute world to me because I do it for you guys as much as I do it for myself. I, I love it for the accountability and the friendship that I've created here and every little thing helps. So thank you all for joining me today. I hope you did enjoy it. Happy sewing and we'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.